Nathan, what have you made of the, the season so far? Two off the playoffs at the end of November. Yeah, I think if you'd offered that at the start of the season, we'd have, we'd have snatched your hand off. I think we've we've started to come together as a team and, and believe in what the gaffers are trying to do here and, and it's paying off with the results. Um, I think if we continue to play how we are and, and push teams right to the end, I think we'll, we should be in and around it towards the end of the season. Is this you now, back to your best? You certainly look it. Yeah, I think we're, we're all enjoying playing football again now. When you're losing games, you, your head goes down and the morale around the place is, is not as good as it should be but with, with the run we've been on and the, the team around us now I think morale's really high and, and we believe in everything we're doing so yeah I think when you're enjoying football you, you usually are back to your best. What's led to your improvement? Is it the consistency all around you and the team? Yeah I think you could probably say that that's definitely helped. Consistency in a in a back four is, or anywhere on the pitch is, is usually a key to, to strong performances and, and good results but I think, like I said, results, when you're winning games, you're enjoying football, and I think that also it leads to better performances and, and, and improvement in people's games. Club's just confirmed David Worrell's going to miss a few games following following Saturday. How big a miss will he be from your point of view? Yeah, I think especially the last few results we've had where he's been scoring goals, it, you probably couldn't have picked a, a worse person to miss out, but I think we've got the strength and depth, and, and the gaffer will be thinking who to put in now, and I think whoever he does... It's got big shoes to fill, but I think they've definitely got the, the potential to do so. And like I said, we've got such a strong team this year, perhaps one person missing out won't won't do a lot. But, but I think when when you look at the team and the work rate he puts in and the goals he's come up with recently, he's definitely going to be a big miss. How happy are you now at the football club? Because you've been through quite a few tough times since you made your debut. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough ride. You'd, we've been in a relegation battle all the seasons previous to this one, so... It's been tough times, but I think it's brighter, brighter futures ahead and I'm really enjoying my football here. It's, it's local to where I live and I think I couldn't ask for a, a, better, a better club to be at at this moment in time in my, in my life. When you, when you look at your career and, wh and where you might go and what you might want to achieve, does that play a big factor in it, being happy in your personal life and your surroundings as well? Yeah, definitely. I don't want to be stuck where I'm travelling for four hours of the day, two hours there and two hours back, but like I said, if... if anyone tells you you don't want to play higher then I think they're probably lying to you but as of right now I'm, I'm happy enjoying football we're winning games and, and right now I'm not thinking about anything else other than, than winning games We just have a word on your goalkeeper as well who's come in for a couple of harsh comments given what happened on Saturday afternoon but you've played in front of him at his absolute best and you know what he can do Yeah definitely like keepers when they make a mistake it usually costs a goal doesn't it which is, is the nature of the beast if a striker miscontrols a ball you've got another 10 men behind you where if he, he does it, it, it costs you a goal more like more than more more times than not. And I think last year you, you can see what sort of keeper he was. He he had to do a lot last year to to keep us up. And I think to start t sending hate towards him and making bad comments about him, I think he's unjust to to him as a keeper and him and his his performances for Port Vale. Ninth in the league, big week now though. Two cup competitions, opportunity to progress in both. Yeah, definitely. I think I think cup runs always give a better feel around the club we haven't quite had one in the FA Cup for, for since I've been here and to do so and get perhaps a big club down here or to get an away day at one of the, the big the big clubs in the in the Premier League maybe would be a definite um, bright spark in the season that we've had so far but I think first and foremost I think if you ask any fan they'd rather get knocked out of both cups and get promoted to be honest but I think winning games is key momentum is definitely something that we, we need to keep going now after such a good run we've been on and with so many fixtures coming thick and fast over Christmas, I think that's the, the key just to get the win and get through.